Continuous Crochet by Kristen Amdahl. This hat features a beautiful offset lace stitch pattern. It has concentric increases only in the beginning of the crown, so you can crochet the rest of the hat in the round without fussing with increases within the pattern. It's a deceptively simple technique, easy to stitch up quickly. This hat begins with the flower. As you join in the round to start the hat, the scalloped edges of the flower mimic ripples on the water. For added warmth, repeat the flower flap on both sides. Worked in the round, this clever blue-on-blue -blue scarf mimics ocean waves within a simple stitch pattern. As a bonus, you carry up the stripes as you go, so it's still seamless too. It's crocheted extra long, so you can wear this one tall for wind protection under your coat, or low and draped for a more casual look. This versatile project can be worn in a number of ways, flat, tubular, twisted, or partially closed, thanks to the buttons. Choose beautiful jeweled buttons to give it a touch of sparkle. I love how the gold yarn and herringbone textured post stitches remind me of my old bling from the 1980s and 90s. A few chilly winters ago in New York City, a friend and I were shopping in a makeup store and I admired the way a chic woman was wearing her wrap over her coat. She had tied the thick fringes so it was more like a Mobius or cowl. I promised myself that at the right time I would make a bulky fringed wrap just so I could style it in exactly the same way. The interior panel stitch pattern looks complicated, but is easy to understand after a repeat or two. I love how the scalloped flower edging is worked and joined as you go within the rows of the shawl. Constructed from the center outward, this piece has symmetrical ends. The narrow edging then matches the long edging as well. This really interesting reversible post stitch pattern cascades from front to back of the fabric identically in an ebb and flow. It looks far more complicated than it really is. Who doesn't love that kind of project? It's a generous size for a Mobius, which means you can style it in several ways and really take advantage of the reversible nature and the drape of this beautiful accessory. I love to draw. I am often inspired by textures in anything but textiles when designing in crochet. On a whim, I tried to recreate a lacy drawing into crochet and voila, this is the result. So fun. A beautiful top-down raglan shaped lace cape hides the increases beautifully within the stitch pattern. It has a button closure and a belt so you can wear it in a variety of ways, figure flattering and multi-purpose. What's not to love? Inspired by the velvety texture of the namesake's petals, I chose a yarn with halo wisps of fiber for beautiful texture. The top down in the round capelet has four corners of raglan shaping. Wear it with the points on either side of your arms for traditional raglan construction, or with the points down the center front and back for a more dramatic look. Who doesn't love to crochet a top-down triangular shawl? I chose a beautiful offset fan stitch pattern and created the shaping invisibly in the stitch pattern for a flawless finish. Adding matching beads in the final round adds weight and sparkle to this beautiful wrap. Inspired by fiery red and gold sunsets, the yarn was designed specifically for this shawl. Gradient yarns can be manipulated in a variety of ways to create stunning visual effects. Alternating two skeins simultaneously allows for this generous shawl to change color only one time in the unique Starburst stitch pattern. I love miniature motifs. They remind me of mosaic tiles but I can't stand to weave in hundreds of ends. I designed this construction method to allow you to crochet mini tiles and join them as you go without cutting yarn at all. Imagine the possibilities. You could take this technique and make anything from baby blankets, rugs, afghan scarves, and much more. Hairpin lace is a wonderful technique of delicate stitch work, traditionally worked in straight strips and joined evenly. I wanted to apply what I know about increases in shawls to create a new shape in hairpin lace. The increase strips manipulate how many loops you join to the adjacent strip, while the straight sections join one to one. 
Inspired by the edging on a friend's beautiful handmade Mexican macrame hammock, this edging creates scallops from within a mesh border. Inspired by the gradient yarn in Art Deco Miami colors, this project explores the variety of ways you can join strips of simple crochet, log cabin style spiral for the center back, and join as you go strips for the fronts, collar, and hem. Take special care to read the notes on how to create as much color symmetry as possible while crocheting garments in gradient yarn. Square motifs make beautiful garments, albeit boxy ones. To create yoke shaping in this figure flattering pullover, I implemented triangle motifs in the raglan corners to add increases and still maintain a beautiful lace pattern. This could be easily modified to make the sleeves or body longer as well. Most square motifs are four repeats and can generally be modified into three repeats to create this triangular motif concept for shaping. This elongated stitch is so unusual to crochet, but once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. The increases are cleverly placed within the spaces between the teardrop stitches for a very simple and invisible construction. The rest of the body is worked in single crochet in the round. This can easily be modified to add sleeves by just picking up in the stitches around the yoke and body openings and working in the round to desired sleeve length. The fanned petal-like clusters in this stitch pattern are so reminiscent of geisha fans to me. The heavy texture brings body to an otherwise very light garment. Work from the center out, each side is completely symmetrical. This is the type of shrug that could be worn over just about anything in your wardrobe to add a splash of color and pizzazz. You'll be surprised how often it becomes your go-to layer. Open work motifs add visually stunning lace to the yoke which frames the face beautifully. By making the motifs pentagons rather than squares, you not only add extra width at the lower edge, creating the increases required for a sweater yoke, but also give you a wonderful scalloped edge from which to continue the body of the sweater in a chevron pattern. The rest of the sweater is worked even in pattern. Buttons offer a casual closure, but it can be beautifully worn open as well. Columns in an otherwise complicated stitch pattern allow for ease in increasing invisibly. The yoke increases are added within the columns for super easy instructions. The rest of the garment is worked even in pattern, a wonderful go-to layer that transcends seasons. Wear this beautiful lace topper in place of a vest or as a focal point accessory. Choose a color that complements your jewelry, and this will become one of your favorite go-to layering accessories. This Bruges lace piece is created by spiraling a simple strip and making concentric joins in four strategically placed increase points to create a shaped yoke. The rest of the sweater is worked even in Bruges lace spiral. If you are looking for a little spice in your skill set, you must give this sweater a try. So fun and such a different way to look at sweater construction for a simpler capelet and at the bottom of the yoke.